Okay, so this video is about how to use a Facebook group to do a screen capture. It's just a nifty little quick tip. Um, now, I know there are other programs out there on the market that you can use that you can download free, um, but I just thought about this and thought it would be a nifty little tip. So, first thing, of course, is to go to facebook.com and create a new group. Go to your account, look on the left side and create a new group. I'm gonna name your group for this. It doesn't have to have a fancy name because I'm just using it for live stream in order to create a screen capture and download it just for myself. So I'm just gonna name it screen capture for right now. Not gonna add any people and I'm gonna set the privacy to a secret group so that nobody is able to see that I'm creating this and because I'm not planning on sharing it to anybody and I'm gonna create oh add one friend well Doesn't matter what icon, so I'll just choose skip. And now we have the group. So you create live video. There we go. And then you click share screen. And you can choose to share your entire screen in the application window. Chrome tab. I'm going to do application window because what I want to do in this video is to capture a video that I already created. I just want to record the audio along with it and then I want to export that video from Facebook. So I know it seems a little convoluted, but you can use it for anything. I'm just going to use it instead of sharing my entire screen, just an application window. And that will be this window here, which is my video. Now, my microphone is working, as you can see, because you can see the audio here. And my video is ready. And I want to start this from the beginning. And I don't need to name it. I don't need to write anything because it's just for me. And I'm just going to go live. <clears throat> so right now I'm capturing my screen, which is just this one window, not my entire screen. And I'm capturing the audio. And I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm doing. And I'll be back at the end of this video in order to export it just for myself. Okay, so now at this point, I've finished the live stream and I've stopped it. I've gone up to the top where it says www. And we're gonna switch that to m dot and hit enter. And at that point, you'll come to this screen where you can right click on the video and save the link as, and it downloads as an MP4 with your video and your audio included. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and to join me on other social media. Thank you.